well be live. Good morning. How are you? Uh, did you have a good evening? Um, gosh, it has, yeah, been a, you know, 24 hours since I last saw you. Here we are again. So today, lots of exciting stuff for you. We've got a bit of easy hand sewing. Uh, so a very, very pretty project for you today. It is the Chatelaine, which you've got your pin cushion there and then this little beauty you see so that when you're doing your hand stitching you can just sit around your neck and you've got everything you need you've got um, your little pin cushion you've got your thimble pip with your needle threaders and your thimble in there you've got your scissors uh, you've got all your quilting clips in there we've got a little knot tied in there so that can go longer if you need it but it means you've always got it. How often do we sit down? There we go. That's better. And um, you just don't know where anything is. So now you can have them all about your personage. And then you've got um, a beautiful pin cushion there as well. And you can either have this as a glasses case or as we've got it as a little pencil case kit with some little snips in there as well. So we've got the panels for this. And so you need to pick which color panel. We'll go through all of this in a minute because there's so much to show you this morning, oh my goodness. Um, so we've got the panel in four different colorways for you. And it is a project panel, it is the project panel. And then you need a fat quarter for um, lining. It's not a difficult word. <laughs> I, yeah, I am totally discombobulated this morning and I really don't know why uh, Gemma's despairing of me gently. I'd like to say gently in the other room. She's just like, we just had that conversation. <laughs> we just discussed it. You nodded, you said yes. <laughs> Driving everybody mad this morning. Uh, so that's all right. I'll keep out that word. I'll just annoy you instead. Uh, <laughs> we all have those days, don't we? Um, so, 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 <coughs> have a little tidy up as I go, always good. Um, what else to tell you? Oh yes, so uh, we have got some sale items for you today. We are having a clear out, we're expecting a load more fabric in, so we're having a clear out as we like to every now and then, which means that, you know, you get to benefit, which is never a bad thing. Uh, because we need space. Hurrah! We don't like to keep things kicking around too long. Um, I try and tell my husband that, but he takes no notice. And uh, yeah, so that's what we are doing today, which is all rather fabulous. I like this. See, so just sit, sit in at the weekend when the kids want um, to watch a movie or something, and I go and sit with them, or Stephen wants to watch something that football yawn um not my thing there's always that thing you know there's there's stuff that's your thing there's stuff that's not your thing um but you know people just want your company in the room in which case i hand stitch but i lose stuff or the kittens take it or i sit on it so to have it all there is amazing it's just amazing uh we've got lots of different kits so let me i don't know where to start there's so much i don't know where to start i'll take that off for now and then we'll go through that in detail in a minute and then we're just going to demo one of the little things so uh let me move that out of the way then as well i'm just really worried that i'm going to lose the kit so the chatelaine um if you're getting the pattern first off then you get all the templates are in the pattern. Uh, we've got some that have got the cardboard bits already pre-cut. We've only got a handful of those and as soon as they're gone, they're gone. Um, but you need about a 200 GSM card. So a weighty-ish card just because on, on the little thimble pip, you just you just need that little bit of card uh right shall we have a look at all of our goodies then shall we do that all righty so 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 these are the panels for today's project you can get it in great now they are 60 centimeter panels please do bear in mind that this 60 centimeter panel 
will also make that bag. Right, well, obviously in the colourway that... Oops. <laughs> obviously in the colourway that you choose. I tell you, it is one of those that are totally discompopulated. I am a little nervous about demoing today because I'm really clumsy. Really clumsy today. Do you ever have those days where just everything you touch you break or you just it just goes a bit wobbly? Eek! <laughs> Uh, here we go. This is the project panel in ivory and pink. I love this one. It's I love all of them. They are all so, so pretty. And this has got the silver in it. In fact, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, so this has got all that beautiful. Well, that's got this. This has got the silver on as well, which is just in fact, come on. Sparkle, McSparklesome on these. They're just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, how they gleam. Uh, so they are the ones with the silver detailing on. And then this is the, this is the same one uh, that I've made the bag out of that I've just thrown, you know, across the studio. This has got the gold detailing in there. So look, maybe you want to get some of the small floral there, which will pick out that to do your lining in. You've got so many options with this. Lisa's so clever with, with how she does all of these. Um, and then the black one is here as well. Stunning. And again, there's that ditzy that you can pick out either in the black or in the orange and cream. It's up to you. Or you might just have something in your stash. Now, what we keep being asked for, um, oh, there's your silver fans. We've got a little bit of that left, actually. If you wanted to um, to use that as your lining, either for that one and pick out that silver or for the gray, works a treat. Ba, 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 ba. But here's the other thing. A lot of you keep asking us to colour match. So these are the complementary bundles of pinks. And we've got light pink, blush and rose. So you can see how that's going to work with either of those two. Jane picked these out this morning. She's done a cracking job. Now maybe, maybe, maybe. You want to go for ivory, blush and jade. And you want to pick out this sort of scenario here. And there. In which case, maybe you want to pick those complementary bundles. These will all be loaded during the show. Poor old Gemma. She's like, how fast do you think I can type? I don't know. Supersonic. Poor thing. She thought she'd got all of our show sorted. Eek. Um, now, what about your cream, your school grey and your rose? If, if. Oh, that's rather gorgeous as well, isn't it? If you wanted to go for that one. So, I mean, if you've got any of these in the greys or the creams and the ivories, then you are good to go. So we've just put together a few bundles because you keep asking, so it feels only fair. So here you've got cream, chartreuse and orange. So let's open these ones out. And then we'll say hello. We haven't said hello to everyone today. Ha ha, look at that. Again, it's gonna work with either one, beautiful, but if you also wanted, then there is the black sage and paprika. Let me see if I put that there. So these are kind of brighter. These are sort of darker. They, they all work. They all work. Oh, they've done a cracking job. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Um, so that is what we are looking at there. 
We'll come back and have a look at um, the other fabrics that go with these in just a minute because we're going to say hello because otherwise it just feels really rude without having said good morning to everyone. And I do not like, oh, last one to fold. I don't like to be rude. It's one of those things that I get a bee in my bonnet about. There we go. Right, who have we got? Let's see if I can even find you, because uh, I know that Facebook likes to hide you all from me. They don't. So, ah, here we go, videos. Is this us? Is this us? Yay! Here we are. Good morning. Just having a nightmare, says Daryl. Oh, no. Uh, not all night my time, as we've been randomly selected for an after check for the installation of our smart meter, and when re-emptying the cupboards have put my stuff. All over the place. Not a happy bunny. Oh, don't like that. Uh, <laughs> morning, Lisa. What What am I making, you know me? Uh, what, 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 what? Um, is the ivory project panel online? Yes, Margaret, it should be. Absolutely should be. I'll get Gemma to double check, but it absolutely should be. I'm like a cat watching the birds when your fabric is on screen. <laughs> so our wisteria is out on the front of the house. And um, not only does it dangle tantalisingly in front of the, um, the sitting room window, but obviously it's full of birds at the moment. So it's like, it's like having the best sky package for the kittens. They just sit there. And you know when they see a bird because they have a very different... They're... Um, Nice pink, said Lisa. Oh, well, there you go, you see. We've got Lisa's stamp of approval there. Uh, yeah, you are very talented, Lisa. Don't, don't. Actually, no, Lisa's not feeling 100% today. She's had her jab, bless her, so she's gone to bed. In Australia with a heated blanket. I can't get my head around that. In Australia with a heated blanket. Like, you've got the sun. <laughs> you have our sun, Lisa. Uh, so <laughs> Kittens steal stuff. Yes, they do, Margaret. They absolutely do. Her kitten, who's eight years old, uh, has a thing for cable ties and pencils and sea peppers. My brother's cat <laughs> tracked next door's roast chicken. <coughs> uh, whoops. In whoops. <laughs> Whose cat? There was someone whose cat had a thing for underwear and used to steal it off people's washing lines. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, morning, Helen. Late on parade today. Steve says hi. Hello, Steve. How's your cross stitch going? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Naomi, hi, Natasha. The cave files of flowers would look fabulous in the Lisa Chandler too. That is my next project. I did think that as I was doing it. It's like, oh, what do I choose? What do I choose? Um, everything is delicious, said Joan. Do you know what else is delicious? Um, and that is Susie's honey and lemon cake. You know, she threatened to make one yesterday when we were on the show. She's like, I'm going to make you a get well soon cake. Um, and she brought it in today. It was amazing. I don't care if I was ill or not. I would be eating that a lot. It was so, oh, so good. Uh, cake for breakfast. Emily will tell me it's my birthday next. <laughs> That's her latest thing. So my daughter, Captain Small, um, is convinced that every day is her birthday. So far, she's managed to get a, th a three foot inflatable um, unicorn balloon out of us, a trip to the fun fair because it's her birthday, uh, um, a strawberry cake because it's her birthday. Uh, what else has she managed? I'm like, she's really onto something here. She's not daft at all. Uh, and every day we say, it's not your birthday. It's not your birthday. Hi, Ginny. Uh, the sun is out. The wind has dropped and a lovely day. It's horrible here horrible here uh so there we go right um oh now i understand about the do you think she'd make me one naomi uh when i have a spare three days <laughs> yeah yeah no problem spare three days that's all i need all i need or i could get the kids to fussy cut what could go what could go wrong freddie's still not admitting to having cut emily's fringe by the way <laughs> and we keep looking at it even my hairdresser looked at it and went that's been cut, Tash. That's been cut. Freddie is adamant he did not cut her hair. Emily is adamant that he did and has even told us which scissors he used. She is not deviating from her story. He is not deviating from his. I'm just like, I don't know. But my thing is, when kids cut other kids' hair, 
it's normally like a chunk and then you're left with a Mr. Magoo type affair. Uh, and it wasn't, it was really nicely cut. So Freddie either needs to admit to it and think of a career as, you know, a hairdresser or something or a barber uh, or uh, it'll come out. It'll come out with his like 18 or something because I think he knows that he would be in trouble for cutting his sister's hair. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I may as well put those, that cutting <laughs> ability clearly to good use and get him to fussy cut some of your flowers, Lisa, was where I was rambling to there. Right, uh, I'm going to ramble over here. Whoop. Now, I did say tonight that we're having a little bit of a clear out and a tidy up because we've got new stuff coming in. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's take a look. So, these are organic cotton, or uh, the pattern ones are organic cotton, fat quarters. You know, Joe, I'm thinking about you with your nana cuttons, uh, cuddles. She became a nana two days ago. Very exciting. Uh, so, fat quarters of all of these organic cottons. So super nice near the baby skin. That's just our normal cotton. But again, it's OTA tech, so it's got no nasty chemicals in it, which is why we use Rose and Harbel. So we go, there you go. You've got all of those. So that is enough to make a quilt blanket, a, a baby changing mat bag that you can do all sorts of stuff with. <laughs> Words apparently are difficult for me today. So we've got that on sale today. If that tickles your fancy, grab it while you can because when these are gone, they're gone. They're not coming back. That's why they're on the sale. Uh, when they are gone, like I say, they are gone, 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 gone. Um, if you have a little blue fan, here we go. There's, uh, again, that's OTA Tech's not organic. The rest is organic just so that you know. And this has got giraffes on and it says, hello, little one, gorgeous. Um, and we've put a plain blue in there as well. And then you've got your green and yellow, green and yellow. Again, what is wrong with this? <laughs> Everybody is asking the same question. I love the balloons in this. I just, it's just a really lovely collection and it's organic, all fat quarters, all cut. Jane's folded them beautifully. And I know that Inga will probably refold them when it comes to posting. She <laughs> What is it she keeps saying to us? Tray bake, not cake tin. And we all look at her and go, what? What are you talking about? She's like, when you, when you, when you pack it for the post, you want to make it like a tray bake, not a cake tin. <laughs> okay. So your fat quarters might be laid flat, so they resemble more a tray bake. And apparently that makes postage less expensive. I mean, I'm all up for that, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't do that bit anymore. I used to. It used to be all me. Oh my goodness. How, how far we've come. How far we've come. Right, uh, Lewis and Irene and Moda. I mean, what is not to love here? gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so again this is just these little bits that we had left i've only got six bundles of these when they are gone they are gone that's all we had left of these um so what have we got these are the glow in the dark ones oh yeah is that right Oh, not we a wedding cake. Tray bake, not wedding cake. Sorry, I've got it wrong. I knew there was cake. You lost me after cake, Inga. <laughs> uh, and then the grunge. You see, I do love a good grunge because it pulls out the purples and the pinks. And then we've got the Lewis and Irene metallic, which is just fab. And then we've got the other three of these are, again, more motor grunge, more of the Lewis and Irene glow in the dark and then more of your grunge there. And these are just, so six fat quarters. Are you ready for the price? Da, 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 da. Oh, <laughs> just look, watch my cup of tea for a minute. There we go. Ah, there we go. Um, for 
$14.99, I believe. It's not bad, is it, for all that designer fabric? Like I say, it just needs to go. These are bolt ends, they need to go. Ah, oh, here we are. This is beautiful. This is Lewis and Irene as well. So um, you've got, again, you've got that metallic in there as well. You've got your beautiful paisleys in there and then these ones, which I love. And again, when they're gone, they're gone. But I love how we've got the bumbleberries there to pick out that. But also we've got the gold to pull all of that together. The green is all through there. It's also in here, so I could put that next to there and you'd pull the green through there. It's a beautiful, beautiful bundle. Again, $14.99 for six fat quarters. So you're basically saving over five pounds a bundle on these, which is just super crazy. Super crazy. Oh, look at these little chaps. These are your glow in the darks. So, glow in the dark skulls. And then we've got some lovely grunge, um, more glow in the dark stars and moons and stuff. Uh, then we've got some lovely metallic. We'll have a look at these close up. Then we've got some grunge with stars on the seeing stars. And then we've got a darker one of the glow in the dark fabrics there. I think that this bundle would make, you know, my bed tidy. I think this would make a fabulous glow in the dark bed tidy. Again, all of these bits glow in the dark. Uh, they are your seeing stars in grunge. That's your metallic. Again, Lewis and Irene, more glow in the dark, more grunge, and then your glow in the dark skulls. Awesome. Again, $15.99. It's the ends of them. And when they are gone, they are jolly well gone. Right, let's have a look whilst we're on a close up. Oh pretty 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 and you know why i've put that with that because that's your honesty this was from the fairy range um fairy clocks range so this is uh, the latest range you've even got the double-edged panel border stripe panel -y bit in there as well and there we go you've got your beautiful bumbleberry there and then your deeper purples down there let's go overhead so we can actually see that shall we Let me move these out of the way but please make the most of these they are silly silly prices silly silly prices but we just want them gone so we will share that love with you there we are yeah so that that just echoes that so beautifully this was such a popular collection. This was the one that I did my um, my rag quilt in. So if you look online, you look at the rag quilt, then the, the picture on that is, is this. Are these fabrics? So we've got those. Again, $14.99, uh, basically 15 quid. And then this is, oh, this is the bunny hop. Love the bunny hop. And this was what I made the bed tidy out of, was the bunny hop and it is indeed full of bunnies now you see we were looking at this and jane's like i don't see chicks it looks like a hedgehog to me so she's convinced it's a hedgehog it's not it's chicks and uh you've got a chick but you've also got some lovely bunnies ready to hop in here do you want to see it close up such a pretty fabric bunnies bunnies i <laughs> love this when i was growing up my brother when he was little look at those gorgeous gorgeous prints my brother hated school when he had to start going to school so my mum bought him a rabbit called coco <laughs> my dad is not an animal lover quite how him and my mum ever ended up together I will never know given that my mum is one of the biggest animal lovers I know but anyway he has over the years always put up with animals uh, probably because he loves my mum uh, that's my assumption uh, so anyway Coco the rabbit was given to my brother as a we're really sorry you've got to go to school but you've got to go to school but have a rabbit that will make everything better <laughs> 
few days later, Coco gives birth to many, many, many baby bunnies. <laughs> Kittens, as they're otherwise known. Uh, <laughs> to which my brother, at the age of four, turns to my mother and says, Won't Daddy be pleased? Such good value for money. <laughs> Daddy was not pleased. He was not pleased at the good value for money rabbit. <laughs> Oh, I still love that story. Never gets old, uh, no matter how old we are, amazingly. Do you want to see some more bunny hops? And no more bad stories from me. There we go. Uh, there we go. These are your chicks and your nests. This is your bunnies. Hidden. Ah, there's your bunnies in there. So again, this is a lovely sort of neutrally, especially if you're not, you don't know what colour uh, what gender the baby's going to be, then this is a beautiful neutral tone to go for with your teals and your greens and your yellows. But also, of course, mix it with the pinks as well, and then you've got the complete collection, and it's uber gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. Uber, uber, uber gorgeous. So there's your um, bumbleberries in there as a lovely mixer. You've got all sorts, all sorts, all sorts. Now, if we are talking fabrics that, quite frankly, we all need in our lives... Let's talk neutral blenders. I have got for you here some Modabella solids in various neutral shades because you can never have enough neutral shades. And then, so they're out, they're just ever so slightly different by a shade each. Look at that. So you've always then got the right colour. And then we've got four grunges. And these are all in half meters, but the price is phenomenal. So the grunges are just the best, best blenders. But again, we've only got a few of these. So we just thought we'd bundle them for you. And those who are lucky enough to get them basically get a neutral palette that has them ready for anything. We thought about Fat Quarters and Jane said, no, no, you need half meters of your neutrals fluff off you need half meters of your neutrals so that is what we've done and they are yeah I mean they are just by a shade different but so incredibly useful so if you want those in your life please do make the most of these I say when they are gone they are gone they are gone uh, anything like this we are just we're struggling to get to be honest so you know, we can't replenish stocks that easily because these are coming in from America and anything at the moment coming in from America is troublesome. So we've just got what we've got left on the bolt. Takes up too much room, so we'll just get rid. And then when the new stuff comes in, fabulous. We're all happy again. You have to make way. You see, this is it. Nature abhors a vacuum, doesn't it? So it'll just, just fill up. It'll be good. Are you guys all right, by the way? The couch is about to spring us. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything else? It, um, it's cold in Mel it gets cold in Melbourne. We were there once and it snowed. What? On Christmas Day. What? We were all wearing about six layers the next day at the cricket. Yeah, you would be. Morning, Valerie. I received my gorgeous fabric yesterday and it's now all stitched up and looking for more goodies today. Gosh, that was quick. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Not sleeping. Uh, I've been having a heck of a time getting my hands on any of Lisa's fabrics in the US. I scored a couple of yards of the grey and made the nesting trio last weekend. Um, so, Phoebe, what I'm going to say about that is this month we hope to... Um, it's been a plan we've been putting in process now for a little while. It started with having to take down the entire website and weigh every single item so that we have a weight against it so that we can then effectively predict the postal costs to post abroad. So that is our next step. So bear with us. Bear with us, Phoebe, um, and hopefully within the month we'll be able to post you some of Lisa's fabrics and all will be well. Um, good morning to everyone. Sorry, a little late. Just got back from a run. Donnie, you put us all to shame. Uh, PT, Lisa Chandler, Melbourne Project Panel is showing sold out. Is that true? Is that true? No, I've got a whole bolt of it. I'm looking at it there. See, I think Project Panel wasn't up. Oh, it wasn't up. Because. Because. We've taken the stock down for Chandler. Oh, they didn't have it all. Jane tells me we have pretty much a full bolt. We have a full bolt. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
the yeah. baby bundles. The baby bundles. Were seventeen ninety nine. Were seventeen ninety nine. How many are there in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fat quarters. Fourteen ninety nine. Sounds good to me. Of organic. Let's go fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> See, cross stitch is going slowly. You can't cross stitch fast. I don't think. Uh, yeah. Mainly because I'm giving a dozen other jobs as well. Well, that's just to keep you out of trouble, let's be honest. Not here often, but usually watch over Helen's shoulder and always enjoy your shows. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Phoebe's drooling. That's okay. Um, Adam is refusing to have his hair cut as he says he's already done it himself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, good luck with that one. Uh, <laughs> Great, you've got a clear out, and I'm skinned. One word, horses. Yeah, 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 that happens. I, I completely understand. Morning, sorry I'm late. Busy on Nana duties. Joe, they're the best duties. Um, <laughs> Daryl, sorry for my earlier rant. Feeling better now. <laughs> it's a safe space. It's absolutely fine. Rant away. I don't mind, as long as it's nothing personal to any of us. You rant all you like. I don't mind. Uh, Phoebe says that she saw hedgehogs too. There you go, Jane. You are vindicated. Uh, no no hedgehogs, but you can see what you like. I was convinced they were hedgehogs. No pressed against the gene. Ah, nesting chicks. <laughs> hedgehogs, chicks, whatever you like. I don't mind. It can be like one of those... Um, this is where I realised that uh, the likes of Josh and SJ who work with us are far too young to remember these. Do you remember the magic eye posters where you had to squint and go a bit, bit wobbly eyed to, and then you'd see like leaping dolphins and stuff in them. I never could. I never could. Uh, I had one up on my wall for years and st still couldn't, still couldn't see it. Couldn't work it out. Not a clue. Uh, <laughs> and everybody else is like, yes, it's this, it's this, you can see this, you can see that. Anyway, it's a bit like that, but not. Um, okay, what else have I got to show you this morning? Oh my goodness, there is so much. We're going to have a short demo because there's so much to show. We've got tidy up kits and all sorts of things for you. This is the tidy up kit. I... Ooh. So the tie jump kit, it's got all sorts of goodies in it at the minute. Uh, it's got little pockets all the way around, which is rather ace. And you can have it in da, 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 the following kits with all the fabric and everything ready to go. Instructions of the lot for $14.99. Yeah, nice fresh. Or if you want it in those, we can do it in those. And then also, we've got that, oh, that one. And, oh yeah, then this is your Chatelaine kit. This is the one that's got all of the templates in. There we go. We will also have a digital download version, but obviously you won't get any of the templates. You'll have to cut them out yourself. Get your cereal packets at the ready. Uh, and then this is the walker bag, the bottle brush walker bag. It's a little bag. All your fabrics and everything are in there. And again, that is on an irresistible price of just $14.99. And you've got all your fabrics in there. Hurrah. Hurrah, hurrah. Now, uh, you did ask for more of the kits to make the nesting pouches. So we did. We managed to get some more. And do you, this was a big old kit. Do you remember? We did them last week, so watch back the show. Was it only last week? Gosh. In it, you get your metre of uh, zip. And uh, we said, look at Lisa, uh, Lisa Lamb's video on how to pop these little things on. She uses, <laughs> this is the crazy thing. So she uses this, this is a towel thingamajiggy. And I tried to demo it without it actually being attached to anything, which kind of defeats the project, uh, the, the whole point of it. And you just slide your zipper into there. She explains which way to face it and all of that. We'll just watch back the show. So round your side up, I think. 
and then you just pull that apart and stuff it in again with all of the back side facing you and in it goes and it's super easy uh, and you get your project well this is the panel this is <sighs> lush and uh, there's your waratah there so you can make your three pouches out of that it's lined with the lovely red fans beautiful or you might want to buy one of the plain bundles line in plain and keep the fans for something else you know like a bag or something and then you get all of your interfacing as well so this was a big big bundle with gadgets and zips and gizmo, giz, gizmos, giz, gizmos and 60 centimeters of each of those fabrics and 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 so yeah they sold out and this is the colorway i think did we not i don't think we had that colorway and then it came in so there we go if you would like that please do grab it i can seal that now and know that that is a complete kit there we go what else what else what else oh yes we've got these little bad boys in four different colors now Gemma's busily loading these these are eight and a half cent I'm expecting her to come in a minute and go how much are these I think she knows eight and a half centimeter frames not to be confused with because they've got different knobbly top bits on the nine and a half centimeter clasps okay here's what we need to know we have got the trinket pouch instructions this is your trinket pouch almost finished i've just got to sew on you see like i've got my little things on there that's one of your patterns but you can see the instructions give you the choice of a little trinket purse or a larger one so you've got two makes in one here there's your pattern you choose which one you want and then you've got your full instructions in there so and that's the smaller size so this uses your eight and a half centimeter frames so if you're going trinket fabulous and we've got them in the bronze the silver the light gold which to me looks like rose gold I'm not gonna lie uh, and then your gun metal so we've got all of those they are brand new in over the weekend then don't forget that see these are the same size class but with these have got it's easier for us now because these have got the the oval top bits and these make the um, glasses case so if you want the pattern for the glasses case and this is this is Lisa's sample here then you'll need to go for the 9.5 centimeters the nine and a half one also the melba coin purse it's exactly the same pattern it just shows you it in different colorways that's all the melba coin purse uses the nine and a half centimeter frame as well okay so it's just the trinket think trinket little things you need the smaller frame for but the melba coin purse uses that frame and the glasses case also uses that frame with the oval, which is your nine and a half centimeter. I must, oh, do you know what I found? I bought myself, ah, <laughs> some really swanky uh, little drawing pins because, do you, get off. <laughs> and I put them in my magnetic dish because I'm, I always lose these always 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 but do you remember lisa's great tip with these about you can see i've done it using these and then you can put a bit of rubber eraser if you're uh, in the states through just to just to hold with the big frames you use bulldog clips and then you can just hold it in place then whilst you stitch aren't they pretty <laughs> but yeah our magnetic thing was dish was absolutely perfect for those happy about that so every any time you see a make with a whole load of drawing pins stuck in it <coughs> excuse me 
you know that I am yet to stitch it. I just think these are lovely little makes. Talking of lovely little makes, we have got all sorts on the show for you today. Gosh, there really is a lot, isn't there? Now, if you are going for this, if you're going to go for the Chatelaine, isn't it fab? That's why you just need to wear it so that you don't get yourself all discombobbed. This is the Chatelaine kit. So you can either have this as a glasses case. We have put in these our pencil in white and just normal pencil and our snips. This is all out of the new hemline gold, gold range. So it's all black and gold. In the thimble pip, we've popped a thimble. Now, just pop in your notes. If you're buying this kit, and I'll show you it in a second, then just say whether you want the large or the smaller size thimble, and we'll pop that in. But I think this is really cute. And we've popped that in with a couple of needle threaders so that you've got everything that you need to be hand stitching. And then this just has a little bit of felt in, or a bit of wadding if you want. Um, and that is your little needle keep. Then you can either have this as your pinwheel, but actually I thought the clips would work really nicely for that. Because when I'm EPPing, I often just clip stuff together. So I've got all of those there. Isn't that pretty? Just so pretty. And actually that's only half the clips. Look, I've got all of the clear ones there so you do get a lot of a lot of clip for your money and of course those clear ones go with the new with the new scissors the little snips that we've got if of course you've got the um in in styler ones then they also fit in there as well so it's all good it's all good uh these just hang out the end a little bit so they're easy to just pull out, but they're see-through anyway. So if you would like all of these goodies and what we've also thrown in, so let me show you what that all equates to. We've got these on a really special price too. So there are your clips. I love that they've taken the plastic out of their packaging. There are your pens, your snips, and it's all matchy-matchy. So if you love that, oh, needles as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some lovely needles, there are your scissors, and there is your, whoops, there's your thimble, there's your pins that go in your pin cushion, they are your needle threaders, they're really sweet, and we've also thrown in some thread as well. That's the, uh, so to keep the ethos going of your, um, you know, plastic free blah blah, the plastic this is made out of plastic bottles, recycled plastic bottles. Well done, Gutterman, for getting that getting that going. We like that. We like that a lot. So if you'd like all of this, I think we've taken off nearly six pounds off that bundle. That's what it's heading towards. Let's put it all back in there. Just let us know um, in your notes. Just a little comment just to say whether or not you want the large or the small thimble. That's my Solan glue pen. You're not having that. I need that. And then it goes. Hurrah. Hurrah, hurrah. So should we, should we make something? You know, that's why we're here, isn't it? Let's make something. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh, look at you all seeing hedgehogs. Oh, Julia's watching on the big screen today. Just waiting for my grandson. I'm having a cuppa before the fun and game starts. He's three. Alison, three is the best age. Oh, just ordered Lewis and Irene clocks and Soroya. Yay. And Elizabeth's watching the birds again. That's all right, Elizabeth. That's okay. We don't take offence. You watch the birds. It's all good. <laughs> oh, the birds were us. <laughs> it's like, oh, Elizabeth's taken up a bit of ornithology. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, righty, righty, righty. Let's have a look at. So, 
if you get the instructions that have the templates happy days you're good to go otherwise you just trace them off okay they're on the back there you just trace them off you are going to need you've got two sizes for the thimble pip you've got the big ones that ever like they are ever so slightly big and small and when i say ever so slightly like buy a gnat's whisker do you want to see how big a gnat's whisker is I know you do. Seriously, a gnat's whisker. Look. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So if Lisa's watching, she'll be like, what are you talking about? What's a gnat's whisker? That, that, that's a gnat's whisker. And you are going to need to decide which bit so it's this that we're making which bit of your project panel so when you get your project panel basically put read the instructions through first all the way because oh yeah i forgot to show you the book didn't i oh man i've ordered a whole load of hardbacked a5 books they are on their way just not yet uh because i think this is really lovely so hang fire if you don't have an a5 hardback book they are on their way we can pop them up as pre-order if you want and we'll just send them out to you. But Lisa does say, go for your hardback, not your spiral bound. It's the international symbol for spiral bound. So it's up to you which bit of your panel you want to use. Did I just, oh yeah, I just whipped that off the top, didn't I? I've got some leftovers that I'm gonna use because I'm frugling everywhere. I was just going to give it a quick press. So it's up to you which which bits you use where. Give it a quick spritz. And then a quick press. Oh, lots of you yesterday, very sensible, went for one of these pressing mats. I had to use a normal ironing board the other day. I was quite distressed about it. It just didn't get stuff nice and crisp. I was like, why is this bouncy and spongy? This is dreadful. And I realised it's because I've been super spoiled with our um, House of Alistair pressing mats. And we've, we're the only ones with it in this colour. So, only here, Natasha Mix. And you're going to have a beautiful array of different bits to play with in this, which is just fabulous. Okay. So let's lay it out and have a little look. So we want to have, so yeah, you'll lay everything out and then you'll know, uh, so uh, and lay everything out and decide where you want everything before you start cutting into everything. It's a little bit different for me because, you know, I'm going to grab some more. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, decisions, decisions. Do I want one of those on there? Have I got one? Of, oh, I've got one of those. Do I want one there? Do I want a bit of a fan? That would be rather lovely, but the fan might make just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this, this isn't a whole panel. But, oh, no, hang on. Here we go over here you see that is your pincushion so really have a little look and a play as to oh, which bits you fancy now you're going to cut these larger than you need you're going to cut your um lisa says pellen i'm using h630 actually with this today that's what I'm going with today. Uh, and should we go with that? That bit there, that'd be gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is just mark off slightly larger than we need. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to do this. One is Lisa's way, one's my way. She'll be like, uh-oh, Natasha, what are you doing? Going rogue. Almost in an Australian accent. You hear that? Dee -dee -dee. 
So I've sort of kept these meshed together. Da, da, da. I'm going to cut those out. What's lovely is that each of these sides is going to be so different. But I'll show you the technique because this wasn't a stitch that I had ever encountered before and I had to go and look it up. <laughs> we all did. Went, what is a glove stitch? You might know. Like you might be like, oh, come on, Natasha, how did you not know that? But I do kind of feel that with working with Lisa, it's almost like I'm on an apprenticeship because she's just teaching me so much and I absolutely love it. I love to learn, absolutely love to learn. So I am just so thrilled. So let's pop that to one side. Uh, was that my larger one? Just make sure that that was my larger one. Then my H630. So H630, what's the difference between H630 and H640? I hear you cry. Well, you might not have cried it, but in my head you might have. Um, and the difference is, actually that's easier to draw on that side. H630 is perfect for this. It's ever so slightly thinner. Still fusible. Still from Visaline, Fab Company. Oh, 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 I haven't told you the competition winner. So yesterday we ran a competition. Oh, bless you. We, had, we have got um, the wave ruler that we used yesterday back on an extended delivery. It'll be here in a day or so. Creative Goods are pretty good at sending stuff out. And um, But we had so many of you once it sold out saying, we've liked and shared the video to go in. <laughs> and, uh, so... SJ is in charge of the random generation of the winners. And who was it? Hang on. I've got to look it up now. Bear with me, caller. Bear with me. The winner of the ruler. That I've only used once. It's fine. Because then I found my other one. Uh, was uh, Debbie Isles. Congratulations, Debbie. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. Soz, Debbie. So, was, but yeah, you won. Hooray! Uh, back to this. I feel that we should do another like and share competition for today. I feel we should give something away today. What should we give away today? We'll find something Lisa Chandry. Chandlery, I can't say it, can't get my teeth around that. Lisa Chandlery to give away today. So for a like and share on the video, we'll find something fabulous, darling, fabulous, and give that away. Oh, the other thing to say to you, Phoebe, is if you are desperate for some fabric, then just let us know. We can always weigh it and just as a sort of a, a one-off until we get going. Oh, hello. What have you got, Gemma? Ma, 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 ma? Oh, that very be beautiful. Would you like me to waft one around? Are these nice things that we have all been coveting? Yeah, that's quite a nice giveaway, Gemma says I should give this away. That's quite nice. We have, <laughs> we have, we have all been coveting these. Um, am I going to have to give away the one that I open? Does anybody mind? You know that I can't get right, stuff out of packaging. No, I've sort of done it. No, I'm, that, that's why I'm doing it so the button doesn't. Well, how have you done it? I'll take out the button and slide it across. Every day is a school day, right? And Gemma knows that I'm having one of those days where I just wreck everything in sight. <laughs> and then she has to come along and, and put it all back together for me and just go, oh. 
don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> and then I put my mic on and the first thing that Josh heard when he did the mic test was that I'd annoyed Gemma. And he's like, what did you do to annoy Gemma? I'm like, I think I breathed. It's really hard to annoy Gemma. <laughs> it's really hard, but I've managed. I managed. <laughs> It's all right. She'll be back again tomorrow. Um, so <laughs> this is... You press that little thing. Ta-da! How cute is that? How super cute is that? All useful things. I've got one in the car, actually, because invariably, Freddie will pull something off something and go, oh, mummy, can you just fix it? Yeah, of course can. Of course can, because I'm super mum. <laughs> I'm going to give that to Gemma to put back in the packet. I'm not proud. I'm not proud. It's fine. I'm fine. Someone can win that. There we go. Someone can win that tomorrow. Uh, right. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. So, back to this. We're making this. We are going to put these in the middle of these and fuse them on. This might be slightly different to Lisa's instructions, but you'll get the general gist. Oh, good, still hot, perfect. Give that a little press. Now, this is where Lisa and I are different. I'll show you two ways. Oops. because Lisa recommends that you do a gathering stitch ooh 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 do you know what I really want a pink that's going to match yes yes or if you'll never let us sit down that is the pink land like iguana thinking what's a laguna <laughs> upside down dyslexia at its best I love these if you're ever struggling to find the end just take the bottom off just take the bottom off and there is your end trapped skillfully under the bottom there don't ask me how many rolls of these I had to get through going what what where is it snip Dee 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 dee. Oh, why not up there? Push that through there. Needle threaders, you can't beat them. You cannot beat them. Pop a little knot in one end. Now, you see, when I used to work with Jennifer Taylor a lot, she had an amazing way. Gosh, she's only two weeks away from her due date. Exciting times. Um, she had a way of just wrapping thread around her finger, rolling it off, and it would magically not. Now, trust me, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried that. No, no. I was thinking the other day. My son is still struggling to um, learn how to tie shoelaces because he's had velcro for years and years and years and, and so he's never had a need to <laughs> I'm just thinking where does he where does he get this from this inability to tie and then I realize oh th that would be me then <laughs> I can't I can't I can't do the roly roly knot thing and there are certain things I just can't do uh, but I can do a gathering stitch and this is what Lisa recommends is a little gathering stitch round the edge I think it also doesn't help that school are teaching him a different way to me. So he just gets annoyed. It's like, that's not how we're taught at school, mummy. You wait. You wait till he gets to maths and the fact that they don't teach maths like I used to teach maths. It's going to be a whole other conversation, isn't it? That's the wrong maths. What I need to establish is whether or not, because you have to show you, you're working, don't you? And you get your marks for showing you're working, is whether or not they will give marks for old style workings 
because if you still get the right answer that's what i need to determine in which case happy days if i can teach them the easy way those of you that don't have kids just be so grateful that you do not have to go through all of this at some point right so you can well it looks like a little pie dish doesn't it um and then you pop let's just make sure i've got the, the big one your bigger one in there now lisa does say oh hi hp oh she doesn't say hi hp i mean she would if she was here and she was seeing my cat but hp's just walked in a little bit of glue on there to just help that side there just all stay in place because obviously we've fused it onto the other side and then give that a little tug and that's all stitched then in place give that a tug and a press Now, obviously, the smaller you do that gathering stitch around, the neater that is going to be. Oh, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty. So... Come, come to help, half pint, have you? She knows, she always knows when we're on a show. She doesn't bother the rest of her time. She just sleeps in a box. Hi, you come to help, old girl, have you? I was trying to work out how old you are the other day, HP. You're either 15 or 16, aren't you? Proper old girl. So just tie that knot off there. Now, the other way, I don't knock everything off. Oh, there you go. Cat Wrangler's coming. <laughs> when, when Gemma first started here, she didn't know that part of her job description was going to be Chief Cat Wrangler. <laughs> Alrighty, so you will repeat. You can either repeat that for those or my way uh, I think this is just because I'm an English paper piecer at heart bit of glue on there pop that on there so this is my way not Lisa's way she'll be like what are you doing to my pattern Natasha on a net she calls me net net what are you doing net It's funny actually because <laughs> I have um, a business coach who's Australian as well and he's the only other person that calls me Nat. And she's like, yeah, no, it's an Australian thing. So a little bit of glue along there and then you can just fold it over. Like your English paper piecing. You can fold it. Now, I didn't check this with Lisa, so she might be like, there's a really good reason why we don't do that, Natasha, but I don't know what it is. So if this is not a good idea, Lisa, just pop in the comments below and tell us why. Because I suddenly thought of it, I was like, oh, that's what I would do. She'd be like, oh, Nat, going rogue. What are you doing going rogue? bit of glue along there so the sewing glue and my pen was made for English paper piecing it's perfect for stuff like this and little Lisa says no <laughs> and she's the boss because it's her pattern but you see there it is that's that all held and once you've stitched it all on it's held anyway so if you're going to do it traditionally see so it that way um, if you're going rogue do it this way.
just snip. Round. Hmm. Might have used this one a bit wonky, controversial. Will it be okay? Let's hope so. Oh, I'm singing to everybody this morning. There we go. Have you all got your sale bargains? And also, you might want to watch tomorrow because we've got Jane's, well, not only because we've got Jane's stunning Cafe Bargello, which is a bit blinking gorgeous, but also um, you wait till you see this week's Half Meter Heavens. Mm-hmm. Bit special. You are not going to want to miss those. And we always flash them at you in the nicest possible way on a Thursday, on a Wednesday, ready for them to go live on a Thursday. There we go. I reckon I can get that a bit better. There we are. There. So when you've done all of those three sides, you then are going to repeat either Lisa's or my method for your three linings. And I'll just do a couple very quick. Oh, what to line in? What to line in? That is the question. I don't know what I've got. There. Conveniently, here's a little snippet of pink. And this is one of the pinks, I think. So let's give ourselves some seam allowance around there. You obviously will do this perfectly and take your time and make it stunning. So add yourself on a seam allowance. Whee! Do a little knot, do it Lisa's way. And then I'll show you how these go together. And the stitch. So once you've just got this mastered, whee. And obviously I'm not, you're not gonna sit here and watch me hand stitch everything today because I can't even tie a knot, so I'm doing well. Oh, Freddie, all is forgiven with your tying your shoelaces, bless you. Right, let's whip round here. Maybe I should have left. You see, this is it. This is where this glue pen is always fab because you can always position. And I'll just hold that in place as I then go around. Special, and I'm only having to do that because I left myself such an alarmingly small seam allowance. I was clearly going for the actual quarter of an inch. Leave yourself more. Leave yourself more. So the smaller the stitch, the neater the gather. I'm just doing this quickly, but 
you will know obviously to do smaller stitches. It's starting to want to gather already, isn't it? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I am doing big stitches just because I am aware that you might not want to watch me doing this for ages. Right, there we go. So pull that in nice and tight. If you want to... Um, Go in with, oh, this is where my little prim mini iron that I always take to Chanda with me would have been really good. Press over there. Yeah, if you want to do like a double thread so that as you give it a bit of welly, it doesn't undo, then you can do that too. I just drop on the floor. Oh, all well, the fabric. And then just stitch that in. And that will sit. in the underside there and you'll have your other piece there as well now let's look at how we actually stitch these together so they're going to be one two three so one side is going to be left to open so if that's your base on there so you'll sew those together, so those together, those together, and then the curve that that creates, like that, gives you that shape. And it's so clever, because this is um, about 200 GSM card, when you then pinch the edges, it will then open up. I could just show you this one, couldn't I? That's all beautifully done for you. Ta -da! Gorgeous, right? Now, you will use along this top edge. You're going to stitch these on together. Now, this uses a stitch called, well, Lisa calls it a glove stitch. I'm going to see. If we can pick it up, here we go, on the camera. So, you're going to go in, like that, and straight over the top and back in again. No, this way. <laughs> there we go. Straight over the top and back in again. And then you want to go across to the side. So it's basically an overlocking stitch. So your stitch then goes across to the side. And then you just push that little bit down there. Let me down. You're going to go through that same hole again. So you get that straight stitch over the top. So you're going to go then across, that takes a stitch across and then keep it in that position and go straight, go across, now what can she see, come on camera, boop, 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 boop. so I'm so engrossed, I bet you didn't see any of that did you, if I move my cup of tea out of the way it might not focus on that, 
Does it help if I bring it here? Can you see it any better there? So, uh, where had I got to? Over the top in that space there, going through that same stitch, move across. So your thread goes across like that. And then in over the top and through that same hole. And that stitch is straight. Move it across. Then over the top, through the same hole. This is all in your instructions. Okay, but it's a really neat little stitch. I just thought she'd whip stitched it, but no. This is really, really neat. So across. Hold it in that place. Keep it in that place. Go across. Hold it in that place. So it's basically a hand overlocking stitch. Across. Hold it in that place. And across. So it gives interest. I mean, when you get good at it, you might want to do this in like a contrasting stitch so that you can see it. Like I say, this wasn't one that I'd ever done before. But you can see how pretty that is. There it is on me, see? So it gives it a prettiness. And there you go. Oh. So these are the only two that are stitched in lining wise. The others just lay in there and then you just repeat that stitching around the outside of those and your lining pieces just sit in there. They're not going to go anywhere. See, they're not stitched down. And that's it. So, I mean, you could enlarge that. Just, like, just enlarge it, put little um, trinkets and things in uh, for little gifts, little treats, little snacks. You could put a little piece of jewellery in there as a gift. You, you know, all sorts of things that you could do with it. It's just a lovely little make. And this is just one of the many, many makes um, that it, that is in this Chatelaine kit. It's really, really beautiful. And what I love about the pattern as well is that if you choose to cover a larger book, you've got a formula in there to work out exactly how much fabric you're going to use. It's really clear. It's really easy to do. So... Some of you, of course, will have my cover, any size book cover anyway pattern, so you could use that. Uh, so that is it. That's just to give you a new stitch, something different, lots of uh, goodies at incredible prices. And that's that. So tomorrow, should I show you the quilt for tomorrow? I know I showed you yesterday, but if you missed the show... This is the Cafe Bargello oh, that Jane came up with. Yay! We're going to do that tomorrow. I can't wait. It's so beautiful. Just so beautiful. We've got that in three different colourways for you. So there's going to be a colourway you will love. So we've got that coming up tomorrow, along with lots of other gorgeous goodies on the show. And uh, yeah, so there we go. I hope that you've enjoyed today and picked up whatever goodies that you wanted. Just bear in mind that if you're going for your lining fabrics for Lisa, then these are always ones to consider. And again, these are all online. Probably should have shown these earlier. You've got your lovely greens. This one goes beautifully with that and that, um, as does the silver. And then if you are going for this, look, you can see how that picks up that. Or if you want to do it in a lighter version, then we've got that, which obviously picks out this here. Or if you just want the gold outline version, then we've got that too. Also to take into account, we have got a tiny tiny amount of the fans which goes beautifully 
There you go. There's that teal with that one and that one. We've got the silver fans and then we've got it in black, red, orange and gold and ivory as well. So have a good rummage around the website. If you are wanting to shop from abroad until we can set up our automated system, please just email info at natashamakes.com and we will see what we can do to put a package together, weigh it and just quote you the postage. And we'll just have to, we just have to do your invoice separately. That's all. But it's not impossible by any means. And hopefully we'll have that all up and running for you soon. That is on our list to get done this month. It's, it's a big step, a big step. Uh, but it's an exciting one. Um, so there we go. I hope that you are all okay. Uh, and yeah, have a lovely rest of the day. There we go. I will see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow with Jane for her Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. Take care. Bye bye.